In this video, we're going to talk about a charge-off on your credit report. A charge-off is when a lender says they cannot collect a debt from you. It is a very serious item to have on your credit report. It frequently occurs with credit cards. This will happen to your account after six months of no payments on a credit card. You can also have an installment loan charged off, but this will happen after three months. A charge-off acts as a tax deduction for the lender and your account will be sent to a collection agency. Charge off on credit report. You will have a charge off reported on your credit report. This mark will lower your credit score tremendously. You also will start to be contacted by a collection agency attempting to collect this debt. They will be trying to collect a debt that has ballooned due to a default interest rate and fees. If the first collection agency is unable to secure payment from you, then they will take your account and sell it to another collection agency who will then begin contacting you. The first collection agency will also create a negative mark on your credit report, and so will the subsequent collection agencies that are unable to collect payment on your debt. Your account will be sold from one collection agency to another. The bigger the debt, the more debt collectors will own your account. Additionally, if you have a sizable debt, the collection agency can file a civil lawsuit. This can result in a judgment against you. A judgment on credit report files will completely ruin your credit score. You could have liens placed against your property and even your wages garnished to repay this debt. We would encourage you to get help from a credit repair law firm. Remove charge-offs on your credit report. Follow the four steps below to discover how you can settle this debt and remove any bad credit or charge-offs on your credit report. Number one, view your credit file. You need to find out what collection items and credit card charge-offs are listed on your credit reports. This information will be different from one credit bureau to another credit bureau, and you must know exactly what marks you want to have removed with each credit bureau. Number two, file a credit report dispute. You can hire a professional or do this yourself by writing a credit bureau dispute letter. Make sure you include your personal information, the item you are challenging, the reason for the dispute, and any supporting documentation. Number three, the credit bureaus will investigate. According to federal law, the credit bureaus must investigate your dispute. They will contact the lender or collection agency to verify the account and the related information. If the lender or debt collector does not verify this information, then the item must be erased from your credit report. Experts estimate that three in every four credit bureau investigations result in the deletion of a credit item. Number four, settle any collection debts. If you're dealing with bill collectors, then use the two steps we are about to review to protect yourself. Request debt validation. This will require the collection agency to give you legal evidence that shows they have possession of your debt account. If they cannot provide you this documentation, then you do not have to pay the debt and the collection agency is supposed to have it removed from your credit reports. Negotiate a settlement. If the debt is validated, then you can negotiate a settlement agreement. As a condition of your settlement payment, the collection, collection agency must also agree to stop reporting your account information to the credit bureaus. If you neglect to get this full agreement, then when you pay the debt, you will still have bad credit. Pair tips.